Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Spy Chameleon. Also subtitled RGB Agent in some territories but not America. For some reason that sounds like the title of a Pixar movie. But this is not indeed a Pixar movie. This is a $5 game that came out, well it came out for me today. It'll be out, it will be out for a couple of days by the time you see this video. So, yeah, let's go take a quick look at Spy Chameleon. There's not that much to see. If we go into the options, we can go into this chameleon mode, which I legitimately do not understand the purpose of. Like, this thing just flies around and nothing happens. I don't know why this is here. Don't ask me why. You've also got music and sound effects, and you can come check the trophies. For a $5 game, there's a lot of trophies. There are also trophies that you can only get on hard, which is a little strange, because as far as I can tell, normal and hard mode are completely the same difficulty. As you can see there, I've been playing for about 42 minutes. Before I did my previous take of this video, which was a failure, it was about 30, but I've really been playing for about 45 minutes. The funny thing about playing for 45 minutes is that I'd gone through half the game at that point, which is a little bit concerning for the game's length, but anyway. There are two difficulties, normal and hard, and as I said before, I can't tell the bloody difference. I legitimately can't. It's just, the, con the checkpoints still work, the enemies are in about the same positions, it all works about the same, so I honestly don't know what the difference is. Maybe the later levels get harder placements or something like that, but yeah. I'm not going to claim to know what the hell's going on there, so we're just going to stick for normal. There is also a speedrun mode, but I also don't know what the deal is with that, because when you go into the speedrun mode, it just flashes a time on the screen for you to be, but it doesn't give you any realistic reward for doing so, unlike all the other goals on the levels. So we'll go and have a look at normal difficulty mode. I'm not going to be playing the levels that I've been up to, because I got stuck on like 52, 53, and 55, so I'll pop back to a bunch of levels that I've already done, and we can have a bit of a go. So, every level has three goals, and if I pop up here to level one, you can see that there's the ladybug, the flies, and the timer. Now, the flies are, there's ten of them in each level, and you got to collect all of them, and that's how you unlock more levels. You have to collect all ten flies in a bunch of levels in order to unlock the next set of levels, right? The second thing is the time. Now, the time is when you, brain, brain, don't fail me now. The time is when you beat a level within a specific amount of time, as you can see there. So, I beat it within 9 minutes, um, 9 seconds, 9.7 seconds, and I got that little challenge there. There's also the ladybugs. The ladybugs appear after you finish the level the first time, so you have to play every level at least twice, which is, seems like a needlessly arbitrary rate, way to pad out the game's length, but I guess I won't argue too much against it. Damn. So yeah, as you can tell, the game is a bit of a puzzle stealth game, although it does definitely range more on the puzzle side of things. The idea is that you are a chameleon that can change colours, and changing colours will help you out from time to time, purely because there are surfaces that you can step on that will let you hide from the enemies, but they're not in every single level, unfortunately. I just got one of the two ladybugs, which is kind of neat. I will hide back here. Shit up my ass with a rubber hose. So the game overall is pretty simple. I mean, most of the game's sort of interesting things that it does are done via mechanics. So that fish that we have to distract by bumping into them, that's a mechanic. There are mice that run back and forth, but if you hit this like little sonic disruptor thing, it turns them into a big, uh, a big still thing, right? It's basically just mechanical variety over gameplay variety because outside of being able to change a color like this, there's not really that much in the way of variety for this game. So if you're not a fan of games that just have a singular brain work with me here. If you're not a fan of games that just have a singular mechanic that they don't really improve on, well, you're not going to be a big fan of this game either. They do keep things interesting with all the different mechanics, though, at the very least. There's... And they mix them all together in a bunch of interesting ways. There are some that are real pains in the asses, like, um... What's the word I'm looking for? There's a level where... There's a bunch of levels where you have to move this, like, plank thing. 
in order to obscure the camera's vision, and those are a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with, but they... They work for the most part. This game does work. I mean, there are some technical glitches I've run into. Like, there are some places where you can restart and get yourself completely stuck and have to restart the entire level. And by restart, I mean restart from the checkpoint, not restart the entire level. And there's one level where, for some odd reason, one of the checkpoints just refuses to work. And I'm not entirely sure what the cause of that is, but that's a thing too. But otherwise, the game seems to work fine for the most part. The main thing I have about this game, the main problem I have with it is that... Well, I, actually, I have two problems with it, but one's more of a personal gripe, mainly because I don't like these sorts of games. The, the game has a stealth theme, but it's not really stealth. It's more of a puzzle game more than anything else. So you have to be... So it's basically just, yeah, stealth. Like, I don't know what else I have to say about it. It's just stealth. You do stealthy thing. Well, you do puzzly things, but there's no like real items or stuff you can throw on the ground, like in volume or something like that, in order to in order to like modify the level or something like that, right? You know, move the enemies, give yourself a fighting chance, etc., etc., etc. It's kind of frustrating like that, honestly. But um, other than that. It's... It's not terrible. Like, not by any means. The game is... The game is well designed. It's got all the different... Uh, lots of different mechanics, ways of playing with it that... That you would expect for the most part. It's just... Uh, other than the, um... The little gripe I made where, you know, you can't really, like, modify the level or anything like that to make things interesting. Like, imagine in Metal Gear Solid where you could like, put down a magazine or something to influence the behavior of the guards, right? I'm talking about that sort of thing. That's not in here, and that's a little bit of a gripe with lo, gripe with me, because you've got plenty of other buttons left over, other than the shifting that you've got going on here, so it's like, you know, surely they could do something interesting with it, right? But apparently they chose not to. But my other main gripe is that outside of the shifting mechanic, which really isn't that interesting to begin with, I mean, it's literally just pressing a button and matching the color. It's not... Like, it doesn't so much grow old as much as, you know, lose its luster after a couple of levels, right? Other than that, the game doesn't really have anything that's that's noteworthy. It's just... Some of the designs are alright, and it's okay looking and stuff like that, but just... Other than that, there's really not that much to it. It's just... it's I've got nothing... Like, I don't have any high praises that I can give this game, it's really just okay. I, I find no reason to come back to it. I find no real reason to want to speedrun it. I just, I, I'm not that satisfied with the way the game plays, handles, anything like that. It's just, it's just okay more than anything else, right? It's not particularly interesting. That's my main problem with it. And that's pretty much it, honestly. I mean, the game does have this really odd sense of humor that's like internet meme focused more than anything else. I mean, I'll go, I'll show, I'm almost at like the final level of this segment. So I'll be able to show you what that means after this level upcoming here. And then we'll probably call this video off because there's not much else to show about the game. Honestly, all the other levels are just different mechanics. There's nothing that really catches the eye. So Got caught, because of course I did. But yeah, as I was saying, there's just, there's nothing else that really catches my attention. Nothing special, no cool mechanics, no, no nothing like that. It's just, I've been through two thirds of the game's levels, more or less, because you have to remember that I managed to, um, you have to remember that I managed to, shit. That managed to shit all over the game. No, I'm not really shitting on it. It's not that bad. It's just... I've gone through two-thirds of the game's levels and just nothing sticks out at all. Nothing particularly interesting or like that. It's just... A bit dull at the best of times. Shit. Pretty hard, and I imagine the people who like something like volume, which is more puzzle-focused than actual stealth-focused, might 
well, it is stealth focused, don't get me wrong, but not like dynamic stealth. It's puzzle stealth. It's, you know, everybody moves in a set pattern. You cannot change it to save your life stealth. It's that sort of stealth. So this is an example of the game's odd sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, that did make me laugh out loud the first time I saw it, but, um... Yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. That's just the game's sense of humor. It's a bit meme -y. But... That was a quick look at Spy Chameleon. It just... It doesn't really stand out in any particular way. Which is disappointing. It doesn't do anything that interesting, and it's just... It's just a cheap budget sort of title that you pick up for a little bit to keep yourself from getting really bored. I mean, unless you're a fan of these sorts of games, I wouldn't outright recommend it to anyone. I'm just, yeah. I'm, if you couldn't tell, I'm not really that enthused by it. Who would have thought? It is five bucks, though, which is a relatively... You know, it's a good price for it, all things considered. Like, if they charged ten bucks for it, I would have just said avoid. I would have just said avoid like the plague, but they seem to know what they're doing, and... Five bucks is a relatively reasonable price for something like this, and you'll probably get a few hours out of it if you try and get all the trophies, which there are a lot of, probably good for trophy hunters, considering it's cheap and it's got all these trophies, and you can probably look up guides and stuff, but yeah. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.